like I didn't get it in the house yet. Cocaine. That's a nice blazer, too. Every day you got something different. You know, with me being an FTO, field training officer, my job is to take the new officers that come on board, and when they come on board, I have to teach them what the law is. We have a disturbance over here at 50 North 13th Street. This is the Loop apartment complex, which is this complex right here to my left. Um, apparently, we have an unknown black male that's knocking on the complainant's door. And we're going to go back here and see what the problem is. 4213 City Hall, area check. Okay, who called? Donna. Donna? Yeah. Where's Donna? Okay, what happened? My friend's getting abused because she came over here and she tried to see me because I'm moving. And she's scared right now, but I told her to go back to the motel. And I want to get a restraining order on him, but I'm trying to move. So okay, let me explain. Let, let, let me explain something to you. We can arrest him for an aggravated assault with the weapon. Now, you as the victim have to come down and say, "Yes, that is him. This is what he said. I, I want him. I want to. You know, I don't want the case dropped." Yes. Six zero six. Six back. I'm still this is the way he killed you. On fire. We got a female that says that an unknown black male came over here looking for his girlfriend go over and listen to his side of the story, hear what he has to say. I'm going to go and see if I can attempt to locate him. What's your name? Ibrahim. What? Ibrahim. Who? Ibrahim. Sit back up. OK, let me ask you a question. Yes. You were just over to 50 North 13th Street at the apartment complex over there? Yes. OK, who were you looking for? Shannon. OK. Why were you playing with the weapon? What weapon? Listen to me. I have, weapon. I have several small children. They're lying. I, listen, I have several small children. I have an adult who does not even know you that says that I saw him with the weapon myself. Oh my God! All I came is ask with Shannon. I came over there. I knocked on the door. I said, "Is Shannon here?" That's not what I was told. I'm telling you this honestly, got truth. Now, why would I call the police if I go over to my house with a weapon? I went over there to, to find a mother to my for my baby because she left a baby in her house by the, herself. Turn around. Put your hands on the wall. We're gonna. I'm gonna arrest you for aggravated assault. Aggravated assault. Come back. I came over, they might not have seen the, the whole thing, but... No, but I called the police, then I pulled a gun out on everybody. That's a lot. That is a lot. That's a total lot. Well, listen, they didn't know nothing about this girl over here getting arrested. They're not even interested in that. They're interested in the fact that you came over there where their children at. Why would I? Wanting a, let me finish talking. They came interested in the fact that you came over there where there are children inside a room, and you're standing outside. If you don't open the door and let me in, I'm going to shoot the place up. That is a lot. I don't think these children will have a reason to lie. They don't know you. Exactly. But nope. this why? is what why? they heard. This why is what they told me. Why would I do me. that when I'm concerned about my own okay. child? Okay, let's, let's go over here to the... Why would I do that I'm concerned about my own child? The only thing I'm worried about is my child leaving a left alone in the house. 415. The kids describe right. your car also, no, 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 on the front of the vehicle. See if his name's on the front. They see me every day. You, you don't live over there. I go over there. I take my girlfriend over there. Well, I'm telling you. Okay, sir. I, I must look like a complete, complete moron. I'm going to go Well, I'm not telling you what you look like, but I'm telling you what I'm arresting you for. That looks like a small handgun. It don't look like my 45. That's, a, that's not a big gun. That's a big gun. Harley and I were over here on the abandoned child case. Apparently the mother left this child in the motel room for some extended period of time. When you were dispatched over to Lumar, I found out that the father of the child was over there looking for the mother. That's when apparently the witnesses over there say he tried to go into the apartment with the gun, trying to find the mother because he found out that the child had been abandoned. The mother is under arrest for child neglect. The father is under arrest for the aggravated assault. We have no choice but to take the child into custody. Yeah. It's a very complicated case due to the fact that 
The mother said she left the house because she was in fear for her life. She was arrested for child neglect. She was afraid to explain her side of the story and fear that her husband or boyfriend may retaliate against her and beat her up. We're gonna have to contact HRS and advise that we have a small child and the mother's been arrested for child neglect. Leaving the child alone, unattended. Charlie, can you hold her a second, please? Yeah. You don't have children, do you? Yeah. Shannon, listen. Can I talk to you? Listen, no, I want you to, hey, whoa, whoa, listen. I want you to, I want you to, hey, listen, come here, come here, come here. I want you to talk to me. Talk to me. Are you afraid of this guy? Then why did you leave? Because Donna had, Donna had called me and I thought there was something wrong with her because she was pregnant. Why did you leave the baby alone? You know you're charged with, listen, you're charged with child neglect. I know, I know that, I know that, and I understand that, I understand that. That's not very good. But listen, I won't do it no more, I promise. That's not the issue. Trust me, it's out of my hands now. The state of Florida will make the final decisions on this case. There's nothing I can do. Can talk to who? Him? The officer? Yes, please. He's, listen, he has nothing to do about this anymore. My supervisor is now the one who calls all the shots. Can I please speak to the supervisor? He's, he's gone. He is not here either. I'll raise him and see if he wants to come and talk to you. Step back inside. I can't, I can't be inside there with my baby. If I have to put you in there, then I have to charge you with another crime. That's going to be twice as hard to see your child. So just step on in there. Let me talk to the supervisor and see what he says. Because if I have to take use force to put you in, I'm not going to use force. You don't want me to spray you, do you? No. Okay, then step on this side. Come on, go here. Go on in there. Well, right now we've got a call into HRS. They're going to come down and send a caseworker down to check into the baby, make sure that she's okay and uh, start investigating the parents. And for now, we get to babysit. <laughs> it's a lot different than the dog I'm used to handling. We made a buy about an hour ago. The first buy we made, there was, the door was wide open and there's probably like six or eight people inside. So we don't want to know exactly who the bad guys are. Uh, second buy was the same thing, doors wide open, lights are on, six or eight people inside coming in and out. The second buy, the CI saw a uh, nine millimeter laying on a box in the living room. The CI is also telling us that there's a lot of guns in there, but that's the only one he's actually seen. So uh, that's about it. If there is any gunfire, just wait for communications from the SWAT supervisors on the exterior, and we'll go from there as far as setting up the perimeter and so forth. But it's important that you know if you hear any gunfire, just make sure you have good cover on the outside. Let the guys in the inside handle it. No shooting from the outside, uh, outside in, though. Okay, let's rock and roll. We're going to be executing a narcotic search warrant for the Homestead Narcotics Unit here. The SWAT team, which is going to consist of a 14-member team, is going to respond to a single-family dwelling, concrete structure. We have a record driver that will be going on location with us so that we can securely remove the, the bars immediately from the residence and securing it as quickly as possible. Goggles down, trunk points on. Fingers off trigger. Make sure you see their hands. We got players right by a vehicle right in front, guys. There's players right by it. Right by a vehicle on the driver's side of it. On the driver's side, secure him, Willie, secure him. Please, sir, Clark! Sir, Clark! Sir, Clark, get out! We need some tools. Breaching tools, need breaching tools inside. Look out, look out, look Don't out. Move. We got four guys in Don't there. Move. Back up, get in guys in there. I got him. What do you need, a ram? Back up a little bit on your okay. I'll watch on your What do you need, a ram? Hands up. Yes, yes. Look Pull out. it up. Get them back in the other room. Back up. Right, I'm coming through. Hold it. Make sure we got a point. Back up. Back up. Hold up, hold back up, Tom. Up. Get in good position. Please get out!
Leader's check. Lons are check. Okay. Anybody have an open door, advise. Information, we're security inside secured. We're finishing up. There's an entry team personnel checking the rear and front for vehicles and sheds. Yep, no problem. Go ahead. Hey, Tommy. Hey, nice line. Single file, straight across, easy points. Okay, I need a cuffing team. Chip Becker. Chip Becker, you're gonna be a, get some flex cuffs, go inside, let's secure the subjects inside. Where do you work? Let me guess, In you won the lottery. No. No, where do you work? In the fields. In the fields? Yeah. How much money you got in your pocket? About two something. Two something? Yeah. When'd you get paid? Today. Excuse me? Today. Today? Yeah. What fields are you working? In the Redlands. In the Redlands? Doing what? Step down. Take a seat. Sit down. Don't talk. Put your hands behind your back. Now. Behind your back. Okay. We encountered numerous subjects spread out throughout the front yard. Uh, one which ended up running. He was apprehended by some of the narcotics detectives after a short foot chase. We also encountered numerous subjects, I believe a total of four or five subjects inside the house. Um, from what we can tell, it appeared that at the time they were probably smoking marijuana when we did the actual entry. There's a very strong smell of marijuana smoke inside the residence. Um, and right now we're pretty much just securing the residence and the, the general area around it for the safety of the search team inside. And we recovered the buy money. We recovered the buy money. Sir, do you want to get back to Sergeant Ray? Okay. Thank you, Elvis. You got uh, gloves, Sarge, by chance? You got my long gun. There's any evidence, Fox? Looks like I didn't get it in the house yet. Cocaine. That's a nice blazer, too. There's more on the front seat there. It's a SWAT guy who's found it when they checked the vehicle. Here was laying there, one baggie. This is in the door. Marijuana off of the left side. Marijuana over here. Powder cocaine here. Whenever you let somebody put their drugs with your gun and you lock them in your car, it's your responsibility. Yeah, you know, I didn't want to. You know, it'd be, it'd be, it would be messed up if I would have let my gun on. OK, we'll talk about it at the station. More clones, cell phones, batteries. Out of, uh, this is uh, this is the cocaine, the marijuana, and the firearm sticking out of the vehicle. <coughs> what are these two cops? Those are uh, two magazines for a 223 firearm, probably an M16. And the last thing we're uh, the uh, package of marijuana, and that's about it. That's all we got. Those are pretty much going to be the key because those are the same color of the ones they've been buying out of here as the, uh, for the buys. Cut off the press, SWAT. Special weapons and tactics. Guess they're trying to find out some of their our techniques. Didn't work tonight. Better luck next time. Stay off the wall, 4421. Okay, earlier today we had a we had a robbery vehicle. And um, right now there's another unit on I-95 following it. So uh, he's trying to advise, he's trying to get with Florida Highway Patrol, trying to get it all together. They're off the freeway, they're basically running around. It's uh, they're go they're going into the projects area, they're trying to find out a place to bail out. Uh, a lot of the officers in the area know where they bail out at, pretty much, which is where we're heading now. Southbound on 12th Avenue and 18. He's headed toward my area, actually. They're bailing out. Moy to rail on 14.
Is that 2-0? Yes, it Okay, they, they got him in custody. Okay, this is Cedars Hospital. Let me get out of the way. Let the traffic go. Okay, there's the vehicle over there. They rail on this way. Oh, it's just getting on. Man. You just checked in? That's with cops. Okay, what? Gonzo, Gonzo, what happened real fast? 29 vehicle. Okay, was it armed you robbery? Robbed the yard. You just finished robbing a couple of tours in downtown Miami, and they got to get behind the car. Oh, uh, no. He ran over a couple of officers. He uh, came out of the car. He ran over a couple of officers? Yeah. Good job. He came out of the car All right. and fell as the car was moving. The car crashed right over there on 12 and uh, 14. You see the car all the way down there? It's the still, car kept it, on going. The car wasn't driving. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. He bailed out, and he got trapped with the wheel underneath the car. He did? Yeah, he was on the wheel. It's pretty sad, but unfortunately, they all know pretty much whenever they bail out of a vehicle to leave it running because they think uh, that we'll, we'll try to go after the vehicle instead of uh, them, which luckily we had enough units. But anybody could have been standing here, and you could tell by this tree, it's a lot stronger than any person. It could have been somebody's daughter standing right here, somebody's kid. And it could have been an innocent person killed for nothing. Okay, basically, a, a unit is advising of a vehicle on fire uh, up the street. It said it was pretty much totally engulfed by flames. We're going to basically uh, make sure nobody's hurt and see if it was an accidental fire or if uh, just genuine natural engine fire. Uh, it looks totally engulfed. I hope there's nobody inside it. Uh, looks, uh, woof, that's warm. Let the fire rescue guys do their bit and turn it off. I take it nobody inside? No. I don't know if there's anybody inside. We just got here. I don't think so. I hope not. TFV 08Z? Let me run it and make sure it's not stolen or something. I'm running the tag on the vehicle, see who it comes back to, see if it comes back stolen or anything. It's uh, not too far from here, from this area. So far it doesn't come back stolen or anything. I'm, I'm trying to see if I can find a victim or the owner of the vehicle. I, I doubt somebody would just leave it in the middle of the street and not come up to me after all this time. So. I want to verify what they got. It's a Toyo. Go to tower. They st your, your wife was driving the car? Yeah. And what happened? I don't know. Where's she at? Where's your wife? No, my wife is here. Your wife is where? She went to go get you? You live right around the street. On the kid, the kids were in the car? Okay. Meca, ¿cómo se llama ella? Jacqueline. Jackie, venga, venga. ¿Por qué tú estás llorando? ¿Tú tienes miedo? ¿Tú estás bien? No llore, no llore, no, no pasó nada. Everything's fine. Está bien, mira, mami está aquí, tu manito, papi está aquí, todo el mundo está aquí. No mucho. Eso es un carro, eso no es nada. Está bien, ¿verdad? ¿No te quemaste? ¿Y chupaste humo o no? ¿Está bien? Ah, entonces ya. Dios está contigo, mamá. Está bien todo. Ya, mi amor, ya viendo que papi por ti. Pobrecita. Pobrecita.
they're pretty much lucky to be alive. Uh, as you can see, the vehicle is totally, completely burned down. I mean, it burned down in a matter of couple, in a matter of a couple minutes. It got to this, to this level. Even the tires have melted. Um, well, like you say, every cloud has a silver lining. Uh, the lady was telling me that basically she got a notification that this vehicle had a recall reference engine fires uh, just a couple of weeks ago, and she just got notice of it. So even though her insurance uh, ran out, maybe that may be her saving grace and uh, Ford dealer providing her with a new uh, vehicle. Luckily, she wasn't hurt, or her kids. City of Lancer, we have uh, nice people. It's a good-sized city. Probably the best part of the job is, is getting to help somebody. Um, best satisfaction you got the other day, we happened to get a kid's bicycle back that was stolen. And uh, something like that is probably gives you more satisfaction than, you know, felony arrests. Uh, something you can make a difference with and, and just uh, help somebody that needs it. He's got a red bicycle. He's wearing a white T-shirt, American flag, and long gray pants. Anyways, 14. That will be a large butcher-type knife that he had on him. Just got a call. Man assaulted another man with a knife over at a uh, car dealership. Um, he's on a bicycle. Both of the units headed to Bridge Auto. That subject is pedaling over the bridge into Saugus. Uh, this is where the assault took place, right over here. Okay, look at those cars. It's going down the Marsh Road. What, what side? Ask him what side he's on. 14 and 9, which side? Going into Boston, coming into Lynn. They got him up there. Oh, okay. No. Yep. All right. What thing have you going on with the All right, there's, there's another unit that made the stop on this perpetrator up here. Oh, here we go. All right. He's, he's, got, he's got the knife right here. Okay? He's got the knife. Hey! Hey, drop the knife! Drop the knife! Just drop the knife, buddy. That's all you gotta do. Drop the knife. That's all you have to do. Drop the knife. No one's gonna get hurt. We don't wanna kill you, man. We don't wanna kill you. They got you me $20 a week. I work it off. Okay. Just drop the knife. Yo, stop and talk. Stop, stop and go. talk. Let's go. Stop and talk. What are you gonna walk into Boston? We wanna get down to the. Hey, guys. You're holding up traffic guys. here. Just go away. This is going to be easy. <laughs> no, we, we're here to help you. That's all we're going to do. We don't want to kill you, man. Drop it. Drop the knife. Drop the knife. Drop the knife. Drop the knife. We don't want to do it. Drop the knife. Let's go. Drop the knife. Drop it. Drop the knife. Drop it. Drop the knife. That's all you have to do. We're trying to work with you here. No, you lay down. You lay down. You lay down. Lay down, man. Lay down, brother. Lay down, brother. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. We're asking you to lay down. Drop the knife and lay down. Lay down. That's all you got to do, pal. Drop the knife. Do the right thing. Do the right thing. Do the right thing. Drop the knife. We'll help you out. We'll find out what the problem was, but you got to do what we're asking you to do. Just drop the knife. Drop the knife. Just drop the knife. Drop the knife, pal. You're going to... You're already... Drop the knife. What are you going to do? You drop the knife and the guns go away. Okay? We're not going to kill you. Why do we want to kill you? We don't want to kill you. We just want you to drop the knife. That's, that's all you got to do, bud. Drop it. Drop it, pal. Drop it. That's all you got to do, buddy. We're going to help you. We're going to find the bottom of your problem. But you got to work with us a little bit. All that we're asking you is to drop the knife. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. Just drop it. Drop the knife. Drop the knife. Just drop the knife. That's all you got to do is drop the knife, buddy. I want to speak to Mark. I want to speak to Mark. Mark who? Who? Mark. He's not here right now. 
You can talk to us. Just stop, 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 stop. Stop for a second. Stop, 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 stop. Just stop. Come on, buddy, drop the knife. Drop the knife, pal. Drop the knife. Drop it. Drop it. No, we don't want to do it, buddy. Just drop the knife, man. Drop the knife, buddy. Drop the knife, man. No, don't do that. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Drop the knife, buddy. Drop the knife, man. Drop it now. Drop it now. We'll give you a hand. We'll, we'll give you a hand. There you go, buddy. Drop the knife. 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 Get down, buddy. Get down. All right. Okay. Relax. All right. I got this hand here. I got this one here. See? Okay, all right. Hold on. Can you get a medical bar? I shot. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't think fine, I hit him, fine, though. Fine, fine, fine. Pat right. huh? him down good. Pat him down good. Pat him down and see if I shot him. I don't know. I don't think yeah, I did. Think did. did. Did I shoot him? I think so. Yeah, he's yeah. bleeding. He shot in his all right. stomach. Well, yeah. Okay. Oh, well. Let's get an ambulance. It's too bad. See if he's going to make it here. We continue to tell him to drop it. Once at one point, uh, Officer Holy tried to out, use the asp and take it away. He started running. He held the knife to himself. He was gonna, he was gonna stab himself. It got to the point where the, the state police officer tried to cut him off against the guardrail, and he went in Officer McCarthy. Was that but Jimmy? Uh, Jimmy, yes. And uh, it was just a point where he just didn't want to. It was okay, going to end that way. You, you feel okay, though? I'm fine. Right. Perfectly fine, Chief. You know, Officer McCarthy's fine. He did a great job, you know, did the right thing. He protected himself. That's it. I mean, he, you know, any time he could have dropped the weapon and, and just it would have been over. But, I mean, I think everybody here showed, you know, unbelievable restraint. It's big time. You, don't want this you know, jeopardizing their own selves. I, I mean, until the move was, you know, it was forced upon him when he, you know, actually lunged at the officer. Well, we've been on the job for 13 years. Uh, we're classmates, and we work together as partners now for about nine years here at this district. And uh, we've had some good times and some uh, bad times here. But it's a fairly quiet district, one of the more quieter ones in the, uh, in the city, with uh, you know, bouts of trouble here and there just to keep us, uh, keep us on our toes sometimes. But it's a good area to work. People are good here. It's good working with somebody in the same academy class because uh, his experience is, a, is equivalent to mine, and uh, and we've kind of gone through the uh, years together. So it's uh, it's good. There's a uh, report of a uh, blue Ford Explorer that was reported stolen and was reported seen in this uh, D Street housing uh, project area. We're just going to look around the area and see if we can spot it. Supposedly has about a bunch of kids in it. They just inquired about it. It has Modern Continental on the front. Is it the Bronco? Is that the Ford Explorer? The Ford Explorer, I don't know, the one we want. What's going on in front of it? It's a big Explorer. This is the one I think might be stolen. Box 102. Box 102. We have a Ford Explorer at Emerson Street in uh, East Third, maybe the one involved. Stay right there. Stay right there. Put your hands up against the wall. Anything else? 
Alright, Fox, what tool? Give me location again. What's your name? Steve, what? How old are you? Huh? 15. Where'd you get this vehicle from? I found it, sir. You found it where? Right on Jesse Street. Okay. Fox, it's all water. We're out of profit. I have a tool. What's it good with me? I did. I did uh, a, a really kind of brief yeah, one. I don't know. Do you have any screwdrivers on you or anything yes, that we should know about? Yes, What's this? Yes, a beeper? Yes, All right. Let's go. Go ahead. Watch your head. Two, we are both in custody. Uh, we spotted the uh, stolen car. The guy bailed out. Ran up the street there, ran up East Broadway, cut past the uh, South Boston District Court. He ran into a pal center, into a men's room, where he uh, ran out of luck. <laughs> He's sitting on a uh, telephone book. Sitting on a telephone book. He was, not me. He, he was sitting on a telephone book? He couldn't reach the pedal. Good job, Judge. I'm gonna drive us back to the station. We'll tell from, we'll tell from the station, George. Yeah. I'll drive you back to the station. Okay, and you don't need the telephone book. I don't. Let my fingers do the walking. I don't think the keys. Uh... George usually does this. Okay. You don't need the phone book. <laughs> I need need it for oxygen. Uh... <laughs> good running. Good running. All right, ready? All right. Okay, you guys want to chase me? <laughs> Yeah, the area 13, you can clear up some facts and streets. And what was that call you had down at UMass? Parachutist down in the water. Oh, in the water? Uh, yeah, parachutist okay. has uh, landed in the water out here in uh, Dorchester Bay. Should be right on the left over here somewhere. Apparently, there's uh, three parachutists. She looks like she's pointing down this way. Sky down right here. We got an ambulance here. So, how are you to be quiet there? Uh... Yeah, you might as well send them out here. They're supposed to be chewing the water. Supposedly, there's a guy over here someplace. He's not too far long. That's all right. There's somebody over there. Okay, the units, uh, they have a minimum of uh, two ambulances. They can handle uh, four patients. Uh, we have two guys in the water, one over there, one over there by UMass Boston. Another guy landed over here. Hey. And another guy landed there. There's a chest trauma over there. Poor Elvis is jumping out of the sky, isn't a uh, heavy day occurrence. There's one here, there's one over there, supposed to be one yeah, in the water there, and there's supposed to be another one out there someplace. There's four all together, I guess. They were part of the, uh, there was a grand opening, oh, something. Waterworks. Mar yeah, Marina Bay or something, yeah, they got blown over here. Somebody has been saying. Marina Bay is a, uh, there's a condominium development across the bay over here. And four uh, parachutes were landing to uh, celebrate that, and they drifted off course, and apparently two of them landed on a peninsula, and one landed out in the harbor there, and apparently another one landed out there.
I saw this one too. Um, I saw the one in the waterfall. Did the chutes open all the way up? Oh, the chutes were open. It looked like, looked like the wind was kind of holding them back. And then the, these two got blown out over the water and they couldn't get back. Yeah, they got one of those steel like parachutes. Yeah, like a wing, like a wing type parachute. Yeah. They weren't up high enough? Or? They weren't up high enough? No, they, they, were never made, they would never make it across. They weren't just, just went up high enough? You're so, never did. So this one here, he was about with, with 75 feet above the top of this tree here. Yeah. 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 And it looked like he was coming down, and all of a sudden the chute just swirled, and he just crashed right into the ground. I pulled on the driver, and I went right to him. I heard this one screaming over here. I'm telling you. I didn't hear anything over I don't know, whose jurisdiction is it, George? Huh? Whose jurisdiction? Is it? Police, ours, I believe Cold Colony is on Boston, in the Boston Harbor. Okay, yeah, yeah. And that's all we have right now. That was that was a weird call, George, huh? I've never I've never had a call with any flying Elvises. That's the first one for me. The police gave me recorded. Yes, there's a guy who just pulled out a gun and chased another guy on 50 on Sonoma Avenue. He's driving a great Mercury. Boston Street by uh, Lingate Plaza, pulled off with the Mercury with a black male. Shut the car off. Shut the car off. Let me see your hands. Step out of the car. Put your hands up. Spread your legs. This could be a drug deal gone bad. I got him at all right? You're under arrest. I'm just gonna take a walk back, see if he threw something. He might have thrown something out the side window down at Burger King. We got the gun and more, with some drugs. No, coming down this way. Cause uh, he reached out like he was throwing something out the window, but. So it's gonna be more ammo on that. So this goes back on the uh, car. So yeah, this one right here. Okay, he's right here, right? Okay, authorize the tow Boston Street and where? Uh, oh, baby, we're getting here. Oh, yeah! Whoa! How do we go? How sweet it is! 18-18. Paul, it looks like he had about seven or eight bricks of heroin in the car also. Still deep where? Underneath? Yeah. This keeps coming. Just keep it Wow. Moolah in the door, too. Oh, yeah. Moolah. Outstanding. Watching him. What was he reaching for on the other side? Because when we come around, he was motioning. Thank you. 
Yeah. You got that bag? You got it, brother. All righty. That's a good grab. Oh, yeah. Sweet. We just happen to be in the right place at the right time. That's the way you They give it out, and we're coming down uh, Boston Street right there. Of this job is luck and being yeah. in the right place right. at the right time. Yeah. These guys are doing the deeper meets. We've got, what, oh, three phone right calls here. on the Sarge, deeper now? He's got a bunch of pages here, right. in which is... Uh, very uh, similar. This is okay. consistent with. This is the person's code who he's going to meet, and he knows that location. Right. You want 60, 60 bags, bags, and it means 15 minutes. 15 minutes. So he'll he's, go to a pre-designated And that's this one. Booth. He has many codes on the thing. Right. This one is 0071 and 15 bags. 911 means he's already at the location. Yeah. Um, and then someone put their number in. That could have been his supplier. 69. He had to call back. Cause that's an. Here's another one with the code 3131. He wanted 50 bags. That's 20. Everyone's a little different, but you can read them. There's another one right there, 70 bags. This guy was very busy. That's why he had so much on him. Yeah, he's doing a big business tonight. Right here. This uh, code 13 wanted 70 bags in 20 minutes. In 20 minutes. I mean, obviously, it's, he was out for a big night tonight. It's a strange Yeah, Sunday. his so you guys code 40. Yeah, Sunday night. Right over here. Yeah. And they're just going to the neighborhood. Right, these people, they come from out of town. Them. As we sit here talk, you got another page. That's uh, customer 26 wanted 50 bags and he's on scene, 911. This guy's on. This... He's, he's doing some major deal. Oh, I can see why he's carrying a gun. Okay. Oh. We got luck on our side and we, we got one of them. And he didn't shoot anybody, yeah. so it's even luck better. A... This job gives you a lot of freedom. I mean, you're never locked up in an office, you're always out on the road. And believe it or not, nothing's ever the same. Every call is very, very different than uh, the previous one. The level of danger is different to every call. And you can start out from being a, just like a little routine call, maybe a car block into a shooting. So it varies from time to time, and it varies within seconds. It's not you're talking like hours or half hours. Got a little smoke here. Oh, I think we got a most in trouble up there. He's spinning his tires. Let's go see what happened to him over here. We'll pull right up. All right, he's stuck on a bar. We'll figure this out soon over here. What happened, boss? I bought the car now, you know. I go to buy ice cream, you know. Back. You went to buy ice cream? No, what happened? Uh, I'm in. You hit it, huh? No, I want to that way. All right, you want to get it off here? Yeah. Push it, go ahead. No, but I can you can't? You want to help you push it? Yes. Guys, you want to help him pick it up and throw it on the ground? Get in the cup. Oops, I'm sorry. Any other guys around? Hey, Arnold, come here. Oh! Gonna pick up right here. Yeah, I know. That's all right. Over right here, right here, boss. Look, right here. Yo, ready? Okay, ready? Ready, guys? One, two, three. Pick it up. Uh, we gotta improvise here. What was the ammo? Jose. Jose? Jose? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let me push him with the push bumpers. Yeah. Put it in neutral. Put it in neutral. All right, that guy had a little problem getting out of the driveway. Uh, okay. He believed the driveway was a little more to the left than it was. We helped him get off it, and he's happy. We're on our way, and everybody's happy right now. So we'll let it go with that. 88 Acura Color Red for two-door registration. Hotel 471. Well, that the car's over here all the time. It. It's got a black roof on it. We're going to a carjacker right now, which happened down the street from us. So we're about 30 seconds away for it. We're going to check it out. 917. At least that Acura, Henry George 7 one it's got tinted windows, and it's also like a ski rack or a bike rack at top, all right? I always see it around. That's a little easier to just think. Okay. Also tinted windows on that. We're just playing a general vicinity with these cars, usually end up. Up on the limpon, Tommy, come on. All right, right up, right on now. I you want to jump over here somewhere. We got him. He's coming up this way. And... Got him. Go, 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 go. Uh, that's the one! 
White House. Get some cops on honey kids. He's still going through. Go all the way through the dark box. He made the fence. He's going to the field. Get the woods. He's in here somewhere. He's right here. He's in here somewhere. Get someone on the other street. Get the door. Get the door. He's got a white shirt. I don't got my radio. Get the door. So run the area over here. Get the cane. I don't have a radio. Put him back. Put him behind you. Put him behind you. I got one. I got one. I got one. I got this here with the cop. I got this here with the cop. Wait, 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 wait. He's going to be in front of him. It's going to be in front of him. Get you on your back. Come on, you guys. Take down, Willie. Get on your back. Roll, 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 roll. roll. They got his here. They got his here. I got the other one. I got the other one. I'm going to take it over. I'm going to take it over. I'm going to take it over. Did you get him? Got it. We haven't found him down yet. All right. All right. Time to do it. All right. Let's be real hey. careful here, guys. This would be good. You all right? Who's right caused that? No, he... You all right? No. Subject is apprehended. 28. No more cars to Huntington. Come in here. I lost my... Yeah, hey, somebody grab my light. Oh, he didn't traffic me for my car. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, seriously. All right. Stop him. We found him. We stuck him in. It's okay. Ah! Oh, we chased him through the backyard. We ended up catching him in a field down here. He was hiding in the field. Right now, I go back to my car and see what's wrong with it. We got a little fender bend on the This guy hit us at the corner. Where'd you go? Right I here. Who's that? Huh? Take a car on you, man? What did I tell you with that car? What do you take it from me? Um, Where we have? Who was in the car? Your friend was? Yeah, him. Yeah. And they took him out of it? Yeah. At gunpoint? The gun yeah. They dragged him out? Who was he sitting on the passenger side? Yeah. And they took him on a gunpoint, then what happened? And then um, they just took off. They the took car. off? Yeah, I just go on that one more way. I guess you don't have to worry about the live music anymore, huh? I just put it on a few days ago. Yeah, I know. Two days ago. Hey, you're not hurt, you know what I mean? Yeah. A little bit you got right insurance, here. though, no insurance, huh? Oh, right, he had a call for carjacking of 15 Prairies about 10, 15 minutes ago. We ended up coming up uh, Potters and Grant at the end of this corner down here. When well, we came into collision with them, he still kept driving through a couple of fences. We ended up being able to stop him here. He left the car running, it banged into my cruiser again. He bailed on foot, we went to the backyards. We ended up apprehending him at one of the backyards and near the fences. We're now when we're switching for the gun and for the information to prosecute the suspect. We got a fairly decent sized city with 80,000 people. You know, I was born and raised here and you know, I work here and come across people I went to, you know, grew up with, went to high school with. Um, even your neighbors, you know, you come across, sometimes you have to arrest them. You know, it's, you know, it's nothing personal, it's just part of a job. And, it's the job I decided to take. We got a B&E in progress. A person okay. just came home. A guy was trying to break into our house. Uh, primary car dispatch is right in front of us. Uh, we're, we're backing him up or right behind him. Yep. Guy's running. Yeah, see if he made it out yet. Gracie, come out yet? The cat just came out of there. Yeah. Push. Johnny, Johnny, up left, left, left. Grace, coming back. No, Grace, coming back to a juke. Coming back to a juke, Grace. Hold up, buddy. Okay, we got him. I didn't do nothing. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. 
Got him? Got him? No! Put your hands out. Put your hands out. Then what are you running for? Huh? You didn't do anything. What are you running? Oh. Stay down. Stay down. Right. Lay out flat. I didn't do nothing. Give me the right hand. Hey, team, we, uh, we got this guy yeah, in the right backyard. Stay on your stomach. All right. <sighs> Grace. Hey, team, we got that party. All right, cool. uh, we're in the backyard of Beacon Hill, where our cruiser is. Oh, you hurt my arm, man. Well, what are you running for? What are you hiding? I got busted yesterday, man, for some crack. That's the only reason why I ran. We're all selling. We just That's gotta talk to a victim. Rosie. Well, lock Rosie up for trespassing. <laughs> then go for. Gave it up, Rosie. I did, man. What are you talking about? Get him up out of here. Hmm. Right up here, Rosie. We'll walk right up through the bush here. Yeah. Hmm. Where were they? Like the blue ones? Yeah, they, I thought somebody took them. Somebody grab those blue sunglasses? All right. Ooh, scared. Oh, we gotta go see what we got. I don't got nothing on me, man. Oh, man, I asked the other day, did the same thing when I had cocaine on me, man. Kid, I don't want to get busted. Rosie, take a seat right here. So what are you running for, Rosie? I'd rather get an ID. I thought you might have been at me again for some cocaine, what? man. Did you have any on you? Is that why you ran? I had a little. I didn't have that much. What'd you do with it? Do it, man, as soon as I seen you. Why? That's why you bossed me the other day 14, for that, man. 14. Said he just got out today and he's going back in tonight, from the looks of it. Traipsing through people's backyards, scaring them half to death. Oh, yeah, it's disorderly, I didn't say at see nobody to nobody's yard and scaring them. All, huh? all these people in the house right here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Trespassing. Poor lady, was, who's in my yard? She's screaming. Uh, we'll go get her. The other police just brought the victim down. She said you're the other one who tried to break into her house. Get out of here. Rosie, come on. There's nothing new for you. Come on, man. You guys should have took me back to the spot, man. We, we took the spot back to you. Come on, man. Why'd you run then? She was lying right here. I, I yelled Rosie. I know what you're doing. Yeah, take off. Stop. Uh, you stopped? What, in the bushes, hiding under the weeds? Yeah, I saw this black man, and his hand was out like this. And I hollered, get out of here. And then I ran, and I, 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 I didn't pull back, and I ran to the back door. And uh, I didn't even see that the screen was pushed in at first, because yeah. I ran out here to see where he went, because he jumped the back fence. And he came out this driveway, and then he started running up the street. But oh, I mean, good you had a watchdog. Yeah. But he didn't Did he bark? He didn't bark no, at all? No, just this. He just, just got see, real see nervous. what he's doing now? Yeah, yeah when he looks around the yard. Hey, a good boy. Beautiful guy. Hey. You gotta learn to bark. You gotta bark when people come in your yard. He always barks like a fool. Yeah. He just, see what he's doing now? Oh, yeah. Yeah. He knows there's somebody around and his house. He knows somebody that, see, this yeah. is what he was doing. Who's your good boy? He's you. Thank you, Mrs. Walsh. Thank you. We've been chasing this guy around for years. He's got a drug problem. He was just arrested uh, last week. He just got out of jail today. Just worked out pretty good. We just happened to be right there, right on scene.